Hello there, my name's Ian Starts and I'm here today to show you how to upcycle two very old chairs. Two chairs which have been in my family for a, a long time and they've been sat in the garage, I guess, for the last eight years. So time, as my daughter tells me, to give them a, a new coat of paint so that she can take ownership of them. I'm here today with my colleague uh, Darren Windsor, who's going to be doing the doing, I'm going to be doing the talking. Darren's been working on the, 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 the chair, gentle preparation, removing any wax, grease or, or anything like that, and making sure that the chair has got a, a reasonable key of which the uh, first coat which we're going to put on uh, really does stick well to the to the chair. We're going to be using an inexpensive uh, spray system just really to prove uh, that you don't have to spend a fortune on uh, spray equipment to be able to achieve something like this very quickly. You could of course paint this with the chalk paint it would take uh, I think probably quite some time to to do however we're, we're choosing the quick easy option and if you actually had another six chairs to go with these two you'll save a huge amount of time one very important thing with especially with older paint is to run it through a paint filter this is a fine mesh or a gauze now, these paint filters are available from most spray shops and it's highly recommended to uh, filter your paint especially as I said if it's older. Once we've got the paint correctly thinned and, um, and filtered through we're really ready to start uh, spraying. We're going to start by uh, inverting the, the, the chair. We're covering an area that more often not is, is not seen. Darren likes to use a, what he calls a dusting coat. This is a light coat showing the covering the nooks and crannies. Uh, these are going to be the parts that are going to be just a little difficult to attract the paint. The paint will always go onto the arms and the, uh, the back nice and easily and the seat as well. Uh, but just covering the areas which are not seen is something which is quite important. You don't want to be sat having dinner and notice that the underside of the chair uh, or the rails uh, haven't been painted. So for the first part, we're going to spray the underside of the chair. So we're going to cover the under of the arms and the bottom of the mouldings as well. Mouldings are always difficult to paint or spray, covering all the parts which can not normally be seen is, is much easier done with the chair upside down. Now this could be a outdoor furniture, it could be any piece of furniture. You can I have to say that spraying outdoor furniture is very very much quicker than actually hand painting. So we've covered most of the small uh, areas which are going to be not seen when the chair is inverted, but good to know that you've already got paint on here. The secret of good spray is to just make sure that you've got adequate paint on. You can always come back a second time. Too much paint will cause a, a, a run and um, that wants to be avoided at all costs. So less is more in the application of paint. So with the chair now turned in the upright position, you can see that all of the area which we covered with the chair inverted has now made the, the spraying of the trestle that much easier. One area that uh, attention should always be given to is the bottom of the feet. They're going to get the most wear, they're going to get the, the most knots. One of the secrets to spraying is to keep the actual nozzle nice and clean. The nozzles are very fine and with older paint can at times tend to uh, block up. We have a nozzle cleaning kit, which are a spray gun cleaning kit, which is an ideal uh, uh, item to purchase with your spray gun. One of the main secrets in spraying is to keep the gun moving, keep it constantly feeding out the, the paint and to avoid applying too much because at that point you will uh, undoubtedly get a run which is going to spoil your work. We've put on here a very thin coat um, but it will be an adequate coat uh, certainly as it's a, a, a primer coat. We'll have covered everything nice and evenly and uh, paid a special attention to the areas which are going to get the most wear in its daily use.
So here we are, a nice even coat uh, all over the chair. It's a very thin coat, but it's a coat which will be a good one uh, with which to, uh, to overcoat with a, with a colour of our, of our choice. So there we go. Simplicity in itself. Keep the paint thinned, keep the gun clean and uh, take time. Never apply too much paint in any one go. Keep the amount of paint coming out of the gun right down to the minimal. Uh, to the minimum and you'll find that uh, you get a great result. Thank you Darren for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you.